Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, are we going to add to my list of worst rackets ever made with this Wilson Profile Air Shell 3.0? Yeah, my memories of this racket were not very good. Stay tuned. Coffee sponsor of today is my buddy Jake Kasarajan. Uh, he's a member of my coffee club, therefore he hooks me up with one coffee a month for hopefully ever. <laughs> if you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day or join my coffee club, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you want to just hook up the channel, super thanks is the way, link is below. Cheers to you, Jake. Thank you so much. And cheers to you guys. All right. Okay. So I remember this racket from back in the early nineties. They made this profile after the original profiles of the 2.7 and the 3.6. Um, somebody actually went crazy with the paint. It's not supposed to be red but it is purple and kind of a darkish green, uh, 110 square inches, 18 by 20 string pattern, fairly heavy. Um, this particular one is 12.2 ounces. Could be because of the paint. <laughs> we do have a contour grip on it. I want you to check out the taper thing here. See how thick it is right here? and then it tapers in here and then thins out at the top. That makes this racket a little more aerodynamic for the people who really don't take a full swing at it, or if they do, they want it to cut through the air faster, okay? So air shell technology, I think that's hollow, and the air flows through is my guess. Um, I'm going to take this racket out to Coach Rob and maybe he can shed some light on it. Um, hopefully he's seen this racket before. I strung this racket with just a basic synthetic gut 16 gauge at 55 pounds. They recommend this. Well, we'll see. Hey guys, do you need a tennis buddy? Want some more tennis friends? Have you guys considered play your court? You can find over 27,000 players out there coaches and playing partners that's playercourt.com forward slash tennis spin recommended this to be strung at 58 plus or minus five so i did it slightly below given you know times have changed and we don't string that tight anymore even on power rackets like this so let's uh let's take it out to coach rob and uh, see if he knows this racket see you on the court all right so we're on the court got coach rob with me as everybody knows he's mr wilson um have you ever heard of the profile air shell 3.0 i have not you have not no i okay. do not think back then that we ever carried this profile 3.0 air shell really no, we carried profiles, but not not, not this, this one. version. Not this version. Okay. From my own recollection, these came after the profile. You know the tan colored one. Right. Right. Um, tan was the first one. Right. It came after that one. Right. And then they made a one ten of that one, ninety five one ten. Um, they made another one after that because that was a two seven. They made a 3.6, I believe, after that. These came after those. Right. Um, so we may not have that right because of our memory. So anybody exactly. who, who uh, But that's has what that I memory. remember. Yeah. And, and these were not as popular as those were. Probably why we didn't have them. Yeah. They, they weren't. I, I almost deemed it the worst rackets ever. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so these came right before hammers. Right before hammers. Um, right. And it was the bridge to hammer. 
which was probably not a very good bridge from what I remember. And, and I bring in this out to you and for me to try because from what I remember, this would have been one of the worst rackets ever made by Wilson. But it's got the, uh, the airflow layer in there, it says. <laughs> It's got a diagram. Okay. I don't remember those either. Okay. I sh in the throat. Grip. <laughs> nylon shell. Nylon shell. Frame. Airflow layer. Okay. That's probably why it's called air shell. I don't know if you can see that. I was always wondering why it's called air shell. So that means it's hollow? Yeah. <laughs> Let's try it. Let's go. So, worst racket ever? You know, I wouldn't go that far. I, I mean, it, it would be, we've used a lot worse. Okay. You know, and this one, I mean, if you're talking, whoever tried to customize paint color this, you know, we got a little green in here, we got some red, we got a little more red, we got like a straight line here. If we were talking colors, I, I could maybe vote. We got the purple, that was probably well, the natural the color. The natural color was this kind of a, darkish green with the purple with the purple mm -hmm. right and maybe a little gold in there right maybe but for feel it didn't feel that bad mm -hmm. Com you know, in going into the worst racket ever got it got it worst paint job customization paint job that somebody tried to do on their own <laughs> okay maybe okay okay but good amount of power yeah plenty um, of power you said something about feel uh, it, it had the feel, it felt weird holding the throat. Mm -hmm. But what about you the know? ball? The ball, th there was not a lot of feel. Okay. It was sort of just like, boom, there it, it came and it went. Right. That's and what I felt too. It was just sort of, I don't know if hollow was the right way of describing it. Um, Maybe it's the air shell. It could be the air foam yeah. layer sort of, you know, may have yeah. absorbed it so much that it just... yeah. No, yeah, I get we you. didn't know it was there. I get you. Um, yeah. I I mean, I like heavy rackets, and this was definitely a beast. Um, it, it definitely finished the stroke for you. And yeah, once you got it started, <laughs> it was, there was no stopping. Yeah, we, I strung it at 55, just basic sin gut 16, nothing special, just because this, this would have been how we strung it back in the day. I mean, right. we probably would have strung out at 65, but just to save ourselves and, and our arms, and our arms we did at 55. And, and since we were going to play with it fresh, um, might as well give it a good feel. Um, I kind of felt the same thing as you. <clears throat> it, if you hit the string bed, it just rocketed it off. You felt a little bit of pressure when Not it absorbed. Lot. Yeah, a little bit of pressure, and then pew, it took off. Um, Easy power, obviously. Uh, very little feel. Um, maybe Except for holding it right here. Yeah, maybe that's why I didn't like it back then. Because even even without a dampener, it lacked the feel. You know, you didn't. You just swung, and then you're like, "Whoa, the ball's gone already." Right. Um, but I mean, would I say it's the worst racket ever now? Like, let's say thirty years later. Um, Probably not. I think uh, there's definitely a place for a racket like this with certain people, and um, it's back okay. Then, back then or now? Uh, now, <laughs> well, back then, back yes. then. Um, the other thing that I wasn't that I understood um, while I was stringing this racket was look at the string pattern on this. Look at how many strings there are. That's a lot of. Uh... Yeah, I didn't understand back in that day why everything was 18 by 20. <laughs> You know, whether it was 95 or 110, right. they put in a lot of strings in them. And uh, I guess it, because it, it would make it tough to spin. I guess if you were a flat hitter, this would be perfect. Right. Um, and back then, there were more flat 
this is true. You know, especially if you were looking for somebody, you know, somebody looking back then, we're going to be on the older side of the spectrum mm -hmm. and we're looking for more power. This is true. You know, they were already in that profile mo mold of um, experiencing those kind of rackets. They were they were looking for. Oh, they would swing short anyways. Yes, I there would be a super short compact swing and just bring it straight back to here and right. then straight through and the straight there. Straight through, boom, which and is, the swing was about that far. <laughs> which is perfect for a racket like that. Right. Okay, so I get it. So not worst racket ever. No. Nope. Okay. I would agree, actually. I would agree. I mean, it, there is, it could be one of the worst rackets ever in terms of lack of feel, but in terms of playability, okay, I'm good. See the egg shape? I saw the egg shape, yes. <laughs> Did all the profiles have the egg shape? No. Okay. No. Just, I, I feel like so. the 110s were more like this than the 95s, from what I remember. Right. But but that this part that's narrow in and then kind of <sighs> bulges well, out Well, I think, here. didn't they, back in the day, they thought more people mishit the ball down here? Well, that they were too close to the ball so that they made this wider. Oh, this is true. And I, and remember back in the day, the sweet spot was literally there. Right. So in a wooden racket, it was here. So right. in a wooden racket, it was actually here because it was a single shaft. So we went from here and then we're slowly moving up a little now. And right. Today we're up here. Right. Yeah. So yes. So that's why the egg shape. Coach Rob just shed a light on something. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> All right, so air shell profile 3.0 110. Not bad. All right, Coach Rob, thank you so much. Sure. For uh, testing the air shell with me today. You're welcome. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.